Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Chef Pam and this is Cooking with Chef and More. We are getting ready to fry flounder. Crispy Creole fried flounder, guys. It is amazing. But today, we're going to be using a new product, or at least new to me, and we're going to review it, and that will be the Creole Zatarian Mustard. We're going to cook our fish with it, and then I'm going to prepare a sandwich with that fish using this Creole mustard too. We're gonna to see how it tastes, guys, so stay tuned. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes. That'll get you there. Now let's get busy. The first thing we're doing is soaking our fish in lemon juice. Don't rinse it. Next, we're gonna go in with our Creole Zetarian mustard. Just take a couple of tablespoons, make sure you rub it all over, and make sure you flip it over and get both sides. After that, guys, we're gonna add our seasoning, starting off with a little salt, then black pepper. We're not gonna add too much because we want our mustard to shine through on this one. Flip it over, and then we're going to season it again, salt and pepper. We have cornmeal that we're going to be cooking it in. Cornmeal, we have white cornmeal and yellow cornmeal. Dust your fish with it, cover it really good. We're going to cover each piece with cornmeal, shake the excess off and set it aside. Once we've got all of our fish battered up with our cornmeal, it should look like this and we're gonna let it hang out for a few minutes while our skillet heats up. Test your heat in your skillet by just adding a little bit of your cornmeal mixture. If it bubbles up, it's ready and ours is ready. So we're gonna add our fish cooking in a couple of batches. Make sure your skillet is on medium high heat, guys. Leave the fish alone and let it do its thing. It'll let you know when it's time to turn it over because it will release itself from the skillet. Oh my, look at that golden color. That's what we're looking for. That's what you want. It's going to cook on about mm, three minutes each side. This is a very tender fish, so it doesn't need to cook a very long time. You want it to still be nice, soft, and flaky on the inside. We're going to Flip our fish over, cook it for about three more minutes on the second side. Okay guys, it looks like our fish is all ready. So we wanna take it out and drain it. I actually have a cooling rack on top of paper towels. I don't like to sit my fried food of any kind directly on paper towels because that side will get soft. Look at that golden fried fish. Guys, if you could smell this, it is amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, when this batch is out, put your second batch in, do the same thing. Cook it till it's golden brown and releases itself. Flip it over and then you're going to be done. About three, four minutes on each side. Okay guys, we are all done frying our fish. We're gonna go over and make up our sandwich. Oh my, look at that golden fish, guys. That's what we want. Now we have our Zetarian mustard. I've toasted a couple of pieces of bread on one side, and we're going to spread this mustard on here so that we can give it a taste and really give this mustard a good review. You can build your sandwich with whatever you like. On my fish sandwich, I'm going to go in with a little lettuce. This is just regular old iceberg lettuce. You could use spinach for a healthier version if you like. I'm going to also add in a couple of tomato slices as well. Put my fish on next. 
a couple of pieces on each side. Yes, this is a nice, big, crispy fish sandwich. Guys, we will be able to really taste our Zetarian mustard and give it a good review. Now we're going to go in next, guys, with our onion. Now, I happen to like raw onion. If you don't like raw onion, simply leave it off or add the condiments that you like on your sandwich. Next, I'm going to go in with my pickle, and from there, we're going to head on over, guys, and give this sandwich a taste. Okay, guys, we are all done. And this is what we have. We have our golden fish. We have our fish sandwich made with our Zetarian Creole mustard. Mmm, -mm, it is smelling amazing. So now most of you all know that have been with me for a while. I cannot pick up the sandwich and bite it. But I can take a piece with a fork and a knife and get me a little piece of this sandwich. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I want to taste the fish with this mustard on it. That is first and foremost for me. We're just going to see how this is going to taste. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a little kick. That is good. This, guys, is really good. Let me see. I'm going to actually just taste a little bit of it. Let me get me a clean spoon that I have not used. Mmm. I love it. It's almost like a little spicier Dijon mustard. Yes, it is amazing. It is amazing. And guys, you can find this at your local stores. I know you can find it at Walmart. So guys, you need to pick this up and try it yes let me see here nutritional facts one tablespoon is a serving five calories zero fat uh let's see let's see sodium 110 milligrams total carbs zero protein zero not bad not bad at all not bad at all mm. i would say it's quite delicious Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me in my kitchen. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Take a look at the video at the end of this video. I really would appreciate it. Guys, share me out. Tell everyone you know that Chef and More is over here cooking up amazing meals. Easy, quick, simple, made from scratch. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.